Hey guys, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. As always, I am DemonFire93, and last time, uh, we noticed that if we, he goes back out of the hospi hospital, and then he put himself back in the hospital by cutting his own stomach open for whatever reason, because he's a damn Yakuza. Uh, and then he's back out again, so we're trying to have a celebration for his health. And so Ibuki decided, let's throw a party at the music venue and so here she is playing her songs ah! with her sweet melodious voice I'm gonna get cursed what such an overwhelmingly baleful re resonance even my four dark demons of destruction look less lively than usual something like this I too I'm starting to feel chills. With a title like from me to you too. I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school girls band was... Um, creative differences. Yep. That must be why. <laughs> it's awesome. That's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Oh, you decided to show up, huh? We didn't think Hyoko was going to be here because she fucking hates Fu uh, Fuhiko, so... Hyoko? I'm glad. Ah, oh, you came. Huh. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But if you're attending Fuhiko's recovery party, that means you've already... Forgiven me? That's not it. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Because he's a yakuza, you know? Yuck is in the name. He's the type of person who preys on people who, by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he can try to trick us. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. I know. No. I, I get what she, why, why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. Ooh, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig barn. Don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see. Fuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hyoko. There's no way she'd would ever she would have ever forgiven Fuhiko like this. Whoa! Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he'd he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring! Hey, how much longer are you guys gonna be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party! Hey! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song! Oh, yay! No, Roger! <laughs> Thanks for waiting! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Which is... Uh -huh. There's still more. <laughs> now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Yeah? Grab a partner and slow dance too? I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> why? How? Why is it a slow dance? Stop it! No! Monami! Jeez! Hey, don't interfere! Oh, and I was like, enjoying such a fun party too! What? I wasn't invited to the party! <laughs> Obviously not! You'd ruin the party if you were here! What? Ah. But seriously, now's not the time! Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party! Well, why? <laughs> Akane! Akane is... Emergency! Akane God. What did you say? At this point, Akana is going to be uh, going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. Mm -hmm. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. 
fool! That stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp on my athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life! Or my name isn't Nekomaru Nidai! Um... Now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course! Damn it. If Fuyuhiko finally returned to us, the thought of anyone else in our group getting taken... I would allow it! I would never allow it! Hey, hey, Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um, they're at the beach where we first arrived at this island. Oh no, they're gonna destroy the Mono Mono Yashin. <laughs> Please hurry if you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. You don't have to tell me, I'm going full speed ahead. See? We should hurry too. Nekamara bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Uh, Ibuki? Hey, hey, everyone! Uh, Ibuki? Thanks, everyone! No, that's not it! No, I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck! Screw this happy comfort! If this were a song title, it'd be Salt Sleep Seeping Into My Broken Heart! I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. <laughs> Come on! You shouldn't make a fuss here! Let's hurry over to the beach already! She's right, I should hurry too. Okay. Oh my gosh, I actually have to run to the beach? Really? It's just as Nakamaru said, I can't stand any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There's no time to spare, I need to hurry over to the beach at the first island. Yep. Go in there right away. Going as fast as I can. Oh, missed, missed, the, missed the thing. Here I go. Running as fast as I can. <laughs> Doing the best that I can. Doing the best that I can. Oh, hey, Chiaki. <clears throat> hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get over the beach. Hold it. Calm down. Huh? Well? It's true you need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Uh, yeah, got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. Thanks, Akane, for, or thank you, Chiaki, for being the voice of reason. Beach! After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Oh, boy. Yep. At least your agility is worthy of praise. I mean, she is the ultimate gymnast. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Akane, what are you doing? Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. <laughs> It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. I don't know what any of that means. I mean, I do, but... It's obvious you can't win! Right. It's like, super, hey, it's like hey. Goku challenging Superman! And in a battle to the death. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? I'm cutting! It's just fighting a stuffed animal! <laughs> Monokuma's an advanced machine. If it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, 
As far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen, even with her big giant boobs. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Shut up, Nagito! Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! Hey, he's back to his normal self. Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. Ah! No, you can't! You'll really die if you keep over-exerting yourself. Yeah. It's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anyway. <laughs> you stupid idiot. That's all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? Don't stop me. You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. What? Frankie! Well then, it looks like everyone's here, Cyborg so I Frankie. might as well finish this. Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! Oh boy. Disappear! <laughs> Akane, why didn't you dodge? <laughs> the world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Nekomaru! <laughs> Nekomaru! Why did you... S save... <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. But seriously, Akane, I have some. Th I have a question for you now. Why didn't you dodge? However, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to die. It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru! What's with all these fake out deaths? Akane, the time I've spent with you, it, it wasn't so bad. Don't die, Akane. Uh huh. Nekomaru! Akane, this is all your own damn fault. <clears throat> Oof. That's gotta hurt. Are you kidding me? Ah! Nekomaru died! <laughs> That's... Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator Akane... What the hell? What a major, fa major failure! I ended up killing Nekomaru who had nothing to do with this! Hey! Hold on. It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. <laughs> oh, uh, then you gotta hurry and treat him! Hey, you, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nakamaru like you saved me. Hey, hey! And that's right! If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules! Well? Then let's just say we're even. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekomaru was the sacrifice. Yeah! So is it okay to say we're even? Hey! You're not gonna save him? Unbelievable. Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So, for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere, again. And it gradually came closer and closer. Oh, uh, this again? 
Yep. Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. It's the same animation and everything. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. Yep, same line did on that one, too. So, I'll see you later. And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekomaru vanished from our sight. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously gonna be saved. Uh, but Fumi Hiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more! I can't stand this anymore! Hey! Can you stop yelling? Screaming will help you, you know? Cause, cause... Yeah, I'll go! This isn't the... This isn't cause. This is what happens when we let our guard down. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <sighs> we were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will just be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually portrayed. That's why I am, I'll never, I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. <sighs> Are you saying it was it is meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really didn't have meaning, Nekamaru wouldn't have ended up like that. <sighs> he ended up like that because of his weird feelings for friendship. You. You understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. I mean, look at what Akane had made us do. What happened with Akane? She tried to act on her own and nearly got uh, Nakamaro killed. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Hyoko, blaming Akane will not help solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. You're not worried about Nekomaru? Damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's gonna die from something like that. There's no doubt Nekomaru is definitely gonna come back. Damn it. So, so when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane. As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekomaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you're finally woken up, You've, when you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. Okay, then. Super! Monokuma Super Fable Story 58 A Tengu Came Down From The Mountains A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans! We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Monokuma Super Fables! The end. Okay, then. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Uh-huh. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Right. Free time? I mean, not really. As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. 
I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Okay. To the restaurant. <clears throat> Alright, 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 alright. Only Fuyuhiko out here. Hey, bud. How's it going? Yo. Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. <laughs> Even if in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Nekomaru, what that bastard mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nekomaru must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs, just like Pekka wanted to protect you. Hey, you shut up! Don't say another word! Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. Feed Hiko. Okay. Let's just talk to Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. How's it going today? Hey. Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, morning. See? Being depressed won't help. Let's believe in Nekomaru. Come on, feel better. Well? Big, okay, yep. Thanks, Chiaki, for trying to cheer me up. Hmm? As I was walking to the restaurant, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> Akane's crying. I heard the sound of a girl crying inside the restaurant. Is somebody crying inside? Mikan? Or is it Hyoko? I peeked inside and quietly walked into the restaurant. It's Akane. <clears throat> See? Told you. Huh? <laughs> Akane, you're the one who's crying? <laughs> yep. I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? <laughs> I'm scared. What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekomaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Okay then. Akane? <laughs> what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekomaru got killed, you know? What are you saying? It's not like Nekomaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be in so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains a change this sudden and drastic. Okay, Hyoko, anything you gotta say? Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. Oh. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. What the fuck is wrong with you, Hyoko? I mean, I kind of... kind of agree with how we need to keep him, like, sedated, but the fucking hell? That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> That idiot, he lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why, why is he telling such a pointless lie? Uh, I don't know, I hate being lied to. Jeez! I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Nagito, why'd you tell a lie? Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. Uh-huh. I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. You... You... What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekomaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome with a round of applause! Slow clap. I still got it. You... are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it especially to you. I caught a fish once that was this big. Listen carefully. Hajime, I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know the true identity of World Ender? The traitor who is holding us among, uh, hiding among us is... There's no mistake. Byakuya. 
That's right, Byakuya is alive. Huh? He's been weird from the start, but his, he is acting much weirder than usual. Yes! Pardon me, everyone, but do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, my name is Ibuki Miyoda. What the hell? It may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Ibuki, are you, are, okay, are you possessed by Taka from the first game? Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. That definitely sounds like Taka. I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyota. Or aren't you acting strange too? Wait. Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see. So it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see. So it is not a lie. It is. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki. They're all acting strange. What's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You got him wrong! That's not it! Yes, Kabuki, she ha has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why? Why are you? Have you forgotten me? I'm Mikatsumiki. <laughs> Anyway, please try touching your forehead. You need to see what I mean. My hands or her forehead? Ibuki, just a second. Understood. In exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki's forehead while she continued to spout, spout, spout gibberish. She's hot. I mean, yeah. In, a, in, a, in her own way, yeah, she is hot. I mean, oh, you mean like temperature-wise? Got it, got it, got it. What is this? This heat is abnormal. That's yes. called a fever. That's right. She has a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so weak. I placed my hand on uh, Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has such a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human body temperature. Nagito, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. What? All three of them have fevers? So the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! My goodness! That's obviously bad! Monokuma? For him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute. Well, there. Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way, too. And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all everyone who, ga who gathered all had confused expressions plastered on their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on, huh? I got to get going on again. Did something happened, you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nakamaro? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear! Hmm? Nakamaro? Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You stupid brother! What the heck is that? Nakamaro doesn't have a weird ability like that! What the Jeez. hell? Jeez! Shut <laughs> up! Ah. Yeah. I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious life energy. Sure. Well now, now that I've shut up that nuisance, let's go back to the topic at hand. Though, well, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. So it's just as I thought the true identity of this high fever is. That's right! This is the new motive that I've given you! It's the despair disease! What the? Despair disease? Actually, you know there are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. <laughs> 
way, the endemic disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> the despair disease? I have never heard of such a thing. Well, then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. And we'll hear more about this disease next time. See you guys.